The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 could very well be the Qualcomm's most interesting mid-range chipset for Android phones. That is because of how powerful this chipset really is, despite the fact that it is a Snapdragon 7 series chipset. You can get an idea of how powerful this SoC is by the fact that it comes very close to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in terms of performance. And Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 was the most powerful Qualcomm chipset of last year. Today, we got the N22 benchmark score of the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 as the Realme GT Neo 5 SE was benchmarked on N22. This phone is launching soon in the Chinese market and as the name shows, it is a cheaper version of the Realme GT Neo 5 that was launched earlier this year. The N22 score of the phone is more than 1 million, which is comparable to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And this also means that the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 easily beats the Dimensity 8200, Snapdragon 888, and Snapdragon 888 Plus. Now you might be thinking, how is this chipset so powerful? For that, let's talk about the specifications. This chipset is based on the TSMC's 4 nanometer process and has the same CPU configuration as the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The only difference is in the clock speeds. So there is one prime Cortex-X2 core clocked at 2.91 GHz, three Cortex-A710 cores clocked at 2.49 GHz, and 4 Cortex-A510 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. If we compare the CPU performance to that of Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, then Qualcomm says there is a 50% boost in performance. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 has an Adreno 725 GPU which offers 2 times better performance. And even with all these performance upgrades, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 is still 13% more power efficient than the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. It is interesting that Qualcomm decided to call it the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 when there has been no Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 1 or even the Snapdragon 7 Gen 2. One reason could be the mid-range chipsets by MediaTek. The Dimensity 8200 is currently the best mid-range SoC that MediaTek offers and it is comparable or even better than some Snapdragon 8 series chipsets such as the Snapdragon 888. So maybe Qualcomm thought of doing the same thing and hence launched a powerful SoC under the Snapdragon 7 series, even though it should belong to the Snapdragon 8 series instead. Because had Qualcomm launched this chipset under the 8 series, then the comparisons with the mid-range MediaTek chipsets would have made no sense. Because in that scenario, everyone would have said that we are comparing a mid-range MediaTek chipset to a flagship Snapdragon 8 series chipset. Finally, Redmi and Realme are going to be among the first companies to launch phones with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. Redmi has already announced that it is launching the Redmi Note 12 Turbo on March 28th in China, but Realme has not yet announced the launch date of Realme GT Neo 5 SE. Anyways, that is all about this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.